Alrighty, we're back. Now, I just put some footage in here that I forgot to put in the last video of just masking, all right? Just giving you some head cam view of masking. Uh, and just remember this one pointer, the better job you do at masking, taking your time, masking some of the moldings and doing a good job at it, the better your paint job's gonna come out, right? And if you're very particular, you could, you know, depending on the job that you're doing, you can take out as m much molding as you want, like this header molding here for the convertible top. If you really wanted to, you could just go ahead and pull it off and just put everything back on when you're done, right? It's all, it's all how much of a quality paint job do you want to do. Me, I just masked it up for this paint job here, okay? But it all depends on what you want to do. Next, what we're going to do here is start mixing and spraying our base coat. And again, base coat is 50-50 mixture. So what we're doing here is laying our base coat foundation on so we can put our decals on it, paint our green base coat, and then remove the decals to give us that two-tone effect. Okay, so this is what I'm doing over here right now, laying our base coat. Sometimes you'll see me air out some areas here. Uh, that's because I want it to dry quicker so I can give it a second coat. All right, darker. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just laying some paint on, airing it, and that's what you call dusting, okay? Because you just, I, just, I don't want to go around a car too many times. I just want to get the gold there so we can move on, putting our decals on, and then spraying our green base coat. What I'm doing here is just spraying our gold, the base coat, on our mirrors and gas cap. So here's the area where we had a little bit of biting. And all I'm doing here is just getting 400 grit, wet sanded it out, you know, just got it smooth and feathered in. Okay, now we're just going to dry it off, make sure it's nice and dry, and then lightly base coat the area. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, just in a couple of seconds here. See, dust it, dust it very little, and this is how you do it. I mean, this is how it's done. Okay, so if you have to pull this trick off every once in a while, then do it. That's what you do. So, you can see how it's covering nicely, little by little, and it's covered, right? You don't want to overlay your paint, or else it's going to happen again. Then you have to repeat the process, wait till it dries, and then feather it out again. Okay, this is how you do it. So now our initial base coat is dried. It's probably about 30, 40 minutes or so, right? Now we're gonna get our Mazda decal, put it where we want it because that's the decal. I want that gold, right? I want it the same color as the graphic on the side of my car, right? So just get the tack rag, make sure there's no dust. I'm gonna lay the decal on and take off that, that plastic backing there and then spray our green base coat over everything and then we're going to go over with a razor blade and gently take off these decals uh, to expose the gold Mazda when we're done. And then we're going to green it and clear coat it. Just trying to figure out where the best place to put this thing is and I decided on right over there. Did the same exact thing to the front Right, now we're gonna mix up our green after we do our sides and spray our green. Okay, so now I'm doing the sides, peeling back. And you know, you just wanna take your time on this and try to eyeball it and keep it, get it as straight as possible. You know, I just stuck the front on it. I'm doing it like a pinstripe where I'm just taking the whole thing off and I'm just gonna go across the whole side and, and get it uh, on the body line as straight as possible here. And that's all you need to do. Here I'm using the squeegee and the proper way to do this is you go from the middle and you push up and the middle and you push down to get the air bubbles out. You should know by now that base coat is a 50-50 mixture, one-to-one -one mixture with your reducer. Mix that up, we're gonna load our gun, then we're gonna go over all of the primer areas at first, right? Because we wanna get the car green. So we're gonna go over the primer areas, number one. First, make that green, put two coats on it, then we're gonna go over the whole car with two coats, and we are ready for our clear coat. So I'm gonna let you 
watch these. I'm not going to really talk too much now. Just watch the way I paint and we will go from there. All right, so now we're laying our second coat of green base coat, doing our rocker panels, our wheel wells, getting it all nice and green. And once this is done here, we're gonna go over the car an additional two more times. All right, so first you wanna hit all of your primer areas twice, and then you go over the whole car as if you're just regularly painting panel by panel. Uh, and if you, you know, are confused about the process be sure to watch the first section of the VIP course I explain this in further detail on how to paint the car how where to start uh, on the passenger side on the driver's side on the hood you know where you want to start why you want to start there and how to go around the car um, I may even record another video later on and put that in this series as well at the very beginning of the course So this looks like here, we're just going panel by panel now and going around the whole car in complete, right? I'm not just doing the primer section, I'm doing the whole panel at a time. Okay, so watch these videos here and we will get through the painting process very shortly and we will be ready for our clear coat. So now I'm hitting the quarter panel area. I'm gonna go around, I'm just trying to get some of that paint into the body kit area there. Okay, now we're going to move on to the trunk, hit the whole trunk. So that's basically it. We're going to finish up spraying this hood, move around to the front bumper cover a little bit, Make sure we got it all nice and green. And remember, you always want to do a 50% overlay when spraying base coat like this, right? As long as it lays on just the way you see it there, you're fine, okay? It doesn't have to be wet, wet, because this is base coat, okay? And if you're spraying a metallic, this has a little bit of metallic and pearl in it. You could go, because this metallic is so fine, I didn't need to crisscross it, but if you did have a thicker metallic, I would also go, you know, from left to right on the hood as well, you know? looking at the car you know if you're looking at the car from the front I would also spray sideways like that okay so we're just finishing up our front fender here we're gonna move on to the front bumper cover make sure to always get your wheel wells very important you don't want to end up you know finish your paint job and say oh man it's you know I, I got white under my wheel wells or I didn't hit it it's still a little bit of primer showing which happens all right make sure to always get your wheel wells like that and uh, we're gonna let this dry, peel our decals off, uh, tack it down, and get ready for clear coat. I'm gonna put two heavy coats of clear coat on this thing and it'll be ready uh, for the next process, which is color sanding and buffing very quickly, if you wanna do that. <laughs> 